Hey, what's up guys? In this screencast, I'm going to show you how stupid easy it is to upload images using Laravel Livewire. So how about we just go ahead and jump into it? I'm going to start off by creating a new Laravel application, and I will just call this Image Uploads. Then I can see into that folder, and I need to install Livewire. So I can do that by going to the docs, and then running Composer Require Livewire slash Livewire. Simple enough, I can now open this up in my code editor, and I can go into my resources, views, welcome.blade.php, and this is the default Laravel page. And if I visit image uploads.test, we can see that page right here. So I'm just going to remove this and just add a blank HTML page with a title of image uploads. I then need to include the Livewire styles and the Livewire scripts. So I will do that right here. And right there, how about I add an h1 tag that says image uploads. And now we go back to our application, reload, and we get that heading tag right there. So next up, let's go ahead and create a new component that's called image upload. And this will show you how easily we can upload an image using Livewire. So we can create a new component by running PHP artisan make Livewire and then the name of the component. So I think I'll call this component image upload. And now inside of my application, I have a new folder inside of my resources views, Livewire. I have this new file called image upload. And then I can also look inside of my app HTTP Livewire folder and I have a controller called image upload. So to include this component inside of my view, I can just call Livewire and the name of the component, which is image upload. And to make sure everything's working, how about I just add an input type file, and I'm going to say I want to model this to a variable called image. So let me just save that, and we'll go back here and confirm that we see our image upload. And we do indeed, so let's go back, and we need to create this image variable inside of our controller. So we'll say public image, and then I think we'll also want an upload button. So how about I create a button inside of our view? And when we click on this button, I think that I want to call a method, and maybe I want to call this method upload. So I'll say wire click. So when we click on this button, I want to call a method named upload. So let's go back here and let's create that method. And how about we just die and dump a message that says rad, just so we can make sure everything's working. So we go back here, we reload, and we click on upload and we get that message that says rad. So we know that once we click on the button, it is calling this method right here. So inside of this method is where we need the magic to happen, where we need to upload this image. And if we go back to the Livewire docs, we can visit this section called File Uploads, and they show us just how simple it is to upload files with Livewire. So let's go ahead and copy this with File Uploads because we need to include this inside of our component. So since we've included that, we also need to say use with file uploads right here inside of our class. And then looking back at this example, we're going to validate that it is an actual image, and then we're going to upload the image. And look at how simple this is going to be. We validate, they're using photo, we're gonna say image and image, and then it's saying that we're going to store it inside of a folder called photos. How about we store it inside of a folder called images? Hey guys, sorry to interrupt your video. I just want to let you know about a new program that I've been working on called the Ninja Training Program. And this will teach you how to create your very own software as a service. You'll start up at the very beginning and I'll even teach you things from HTML through JavaScript and then PHP, Laravel, and then how to create your own successful software as a service. Uh, so make sure to check out devdojo.com slash ninja. And now back to your video. So let's go ahead and take one more look at this. We have our input type file. We then have our button that calls the upload method, which will validate a valid image. 
and then store it inside of a folder called images. Let's go ahead and test things out. Let's go back here. Let's choose a file. And I have an image of an awesome Ninja Turtle right there. And let's go ahead and click on upload. And you can see it doesn't look like anything happened right now. But let's go back and let's look inside of our public folder. And let's look inside of our storage app. And you can see that we have this new folder called images right here. And sure enough, we uploaded that image. But I actually want to store this inside of the app public folder. And then I actually want to create a sim link so that we can actually view this from our application. So if I look inside of my file system configuration, we have a few disks here. And local is where it's being stored right now. But I actually want to upload this to our public folder. And to do that, I need to create a sim link by using the artisan storage link command. And this is going to create a sim link from our public folder to our storage folder. So now that I've done that, Inside of the controller, I'm going to say that I want to store this inside of the public disk. So let's go ahead and try this again. Let's go back here, choose the file, and I'll choose the file that I want to upload and click on upload. And now if I go back here, I can see inside of my storage folder, we have app, public, and then I have the image right here. So we could actually navigate to this by going to the images and then the name of the file. So let me copy that and I'll show you. We can visit image uploads.test slash oh, images slash in the name of that file. And you can see right here we have that image. So then we could store this in the database and this could be like a user avatar upload or a photo upload. But you can see just how easy it is to upload files using Laravel Livewire. If we actually wanted to get the value of this image, we could say URL equals, and let's go ahead and just die and dump that URL. Let's go back here and try this out again. Let's upload the file and click on upload. And now you can see that we have the new image URL, which we could then just navigate from our application. So that is it. It is that simple to upload images using Livewire. I definitely recommend checking out the documentation. You can see how you can upload it to S3, uh, how you can get a temporary preview image, and just a whole bunch of other cool stuff. But in this video, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how simple it is to upload images with Livewire.